Hello everybody. Welcome to this edition of Healing Through Writing. My name is Empress Pamela and I want to congratulate you on participating in this exercise of healing through writing. We are addressing prompts numbered 357 through 359 today. So we're getting up there. We're almost concluding our uh, total of 400 prompts from this book. I'll just show you. 400 writing prompts. I received it as a gift a couple of years ago. It probably sat on my shelf for a year. Uh, the gift was from a dear friend. Um, and then I started actually writing in it and it felt good and I wanted to share with um, my YouTube audience and friends of ideas, things, prompts that can start the juices flowing, that can start the healing process. Writing is a tool for everyone can use it, um, but not everyone is brave enough. So I congratulate you on your bravery of facing your past, your memories, your childhood wounds, all the things that um, we need to do to become more peaceful, more balanced, more loving to ourselves and others as we do this journey called life, right? Okay. Prompt number 357. If you've been with me before, you know that I'll read the prompt twice and then I'll share with you my response just for shits and giggles. Okay, prompt number 357. What instrument would you love to learn how to play? Prompt number 357. What instrument would you love to learn how to play? I have limited experience in musical instruments, although I feel I am musically inclined. In elementary school, I played the cello. It was moody, melodic, and heavy, just like me. Fast forward 30 plus years, and my taste for creating music was reignited through rock band. While playing with my boys, I was always drawn to either being the drummer or singer. So, if I were to pursue music at this point, I would learn how to properly sing or work up a sweat with drums. I couldn't remember the other um, game that was similar to Rock Band, so but we had both of those. It was fun. I really enjoyed myself. And the thing I wanted to explain with drums is I could get my aggression out. Like it was very physical. And I remember working up a sweat at times, but I really enjoyed that. Okay. Prompt number 358. Have you ever spoiled yourself? What did you do? And was it a special occasion? Prompt number 358. Have you ever spoiled yourself? What did you do? And was it a special occasion? Some would say I have a tendency to put myself first. Or maybe I feel guilty about indulging in the things I enjoy occasionally. A mani petty, a mani petty, a quality meal at a restaurant, or even a quick beach getaway. These are my top three indulgences. I usually imbibe in such activities when my mind, my, my body, mind, soul is screaming for attention, pampering, and relaxation. Learning how to not feel guilty whilst feeding my soul has been a critical lesson for me. Hmm. Prompt number 359. If you could be the leader of any country, which country would you choose? What would you change first? 
prompt number 359. If you could be the leader of any country, which country would you choose? What would you change first? This is timely and perhaps a hot topic. Change in leadership in a country? If I chose to lead a country, I would start from scratch. I would begin being the leader of my own small island, which I would own. Inhabitants would consist of my soul family and people that share the same vision. Love comes first as the primary language, heart-centered actions, and healing. Yes. Okay, guys. So, um, those are some varied prompts, topics, I would say. I think you can probably expound on all of them, depending on the direction you choose to take. But, um, I will, I hope to see you in the next one. Keep writing. If you, if you're running out of journal space, hell, go to TJ Maxx, check out their clearance. They always have a journal or two on clearance and you deserve it. Okay. Or get a brand new one. That's not reduced. Ha ha. Anyway, in, invest in yourself. That's the whole point of this. Okay. It doesn't take long. Look at this video is only six plus minutes, so you can do it. I have faith in you. Take care.